Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Crystal Reports, you use the Formula Workshop window to create the various types of formulas that are used to select records, create custom group names, calculate values, and other formula-related activities. The Formula Workshop consists of two separate components, the Formula Editor and the Formula Expert. The Formula Editor is where we create almost all of the formulas that we use in Crystal Reports. The Formula Expert is a less frequently used aspect of the Formula Workshop, which allows you to create your own custom functions that can then be used by other formulas and stored into the Crystal Repository if you're using Crystal Enterprise. You can access the Formula Workshop in various places within Crystal Reports. You can click the Formula Workshop button in the Experts toolbar to launch this screen in a separate window if you prefer. You can also access this window by choosing Report from the menu bar and then choosing Formula Workshop. When the Formula Editor is being displayed in the Formula Workshop, you can see different sections of the window. At the top of the window, you can see various buttons and four small toolbars that are available for selection. On the left side of the window, you can also view the Workshop Tree Pane, which shows the various types of formulas and expressions which you can manipulate through this window. So over here we have the workshop tree. In this pane we have report fields. In the middle pane we have functions. At the right we have operators. And down below we have the formula text window showing the formula that we have currently selected in the formula workshop. So in the report fields pane you can see all of the database fields which are available to reference within our formula. You can double click on any of the fields to insert them wherever your insertion point is located within the formula text window. Although you can also type them by hand. The middle pane of the three is the functions pane and this is where you find all the possible functions you can insert into your formula. Once again with a double click typically. The far right pane are the operators which you can add to your formulas as well with a double click. Within each pane you can also click the small plus and minus signs to expand and collapse all the objects within each section or category. And then you just double click on the entry within these panes to insert it into the formula text window at the bottom. So in this manner you can edit and create the complex expressions that consist of the fields, functions, operators, other text and numbers that you have to enter by hand into the formula text window. Also notice that each of the three panes has a small X button which you can click to close the pane if desired. They can be turned back on using the buttons in the expression editor toolbar. Also note that you can click and drag between the panes to change their size and shape. You can also click the small left and right arrows next to the small X to show or hide each pane temporarily. As far as the toolbar buttons up at the top, in the general Formula Workshop toolbar you have Save and Close, which saves and closes this window, returning you to the report. You also have Save, which saves changes to the formula, but leaves the window open. You can click the New button to create a new one of the fields shown over in the tree at the left. So to create a new formula field, we could select formula fields and then click new. You could also hide or show the workshop tree itself using this button. Or toggle the properties display using this button. This button with a magic wand switches between using the formula editor and the formula expert. The question mark is help. In the workshop tree toolbar, we have rename, delete, 
expand node, show formatting formula nodes only, add to repository or add to report. In the expression editor toolbar, we have check formula. This is handy to give your formula a check. It'll check it using the syntax specified down at the right end of this toolbar. We also have undo and redo, browse data, find or replace, toggle bookmark, next bookmark, previous bookmark, and clear all bookmarks, sort trees, field tree toggle, function tree toggle, and the operator tree toggle. Finally, you have the desired syntax which you would like to use and a button for comment or uncomment the currently selected line in the formula text window. So once again, when you are done, you could just save and close to return back to Crystal Reports. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.